subscribe. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Okay, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Let's see how it works. Okay, good. Okay, people, how was your weekend? Good? Yes, yeah, very, very good. Well. Okay, fine. Good. fine. Good, 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 good. Excellent. What did you do? Where did you go? Did you go to the beach? No. Oh, yes. In my house. In your house? In my house. Ah, okay. Yes. That's sad. Okay, fine. Okay, so we have, uh, let me see. 11 people, okay. More people will come in as we start the class. <clears throat> okay. Intermediate. Okay, do you, re do you remember the, the answers to these questions? Manuel Gutierrez, do you remember? Uh, uh, the last class. Uh-huh. Uh, the name. Yep, yeah, but do, do you remember the answers here? We don't do it, teacher. You didn't do it, but you do no. you, but you haven't done done it in your platform yet. Uh, no. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> okay. No remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember to. But uh, but but you have done. Pero ya hicieron los otros anteriores de la plataforma, verdad? Para no vayan atrasando. Yes. The first yes, the second no. Okay, good. No yet. Okay, so then we're going to have a, okay, let me see, a little. 
I will play the. Yes, that's when we did it. Yes. I will play the video, the other video. For the yes, no question for the information questions, and then we're going to review it with the knowledge check. Okay. Participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH <laughs> questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? <clears throat> she loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third-person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus the subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay. So Any type of questions in simple she takes. This inflection Okay, here just to emphasize, to remember that we have in, in the simple present, in English we use do and we have does. Okay, does is when we talk about he, she, or it, right? And then for the rest of the pronouns, then we are going to use I, you, we, you, they, okay? In this case, we're going to practice with you and I, okay? And then, uh, for example, in the question, we say, what do you do? Okay, the question is for you. Then the answer is, I am a student, okay? So here, there is a combination with the verb to be, because what do you do is, uh, like, for example, what is gases para vivir, right? What do you do? Okay, uh, I am a doctor, I am an engineer, um, I am a teacher, and I have a part-time job, uh, I am a driver, um, I am a, an accountant, uh, whatever, right? Any occupation, any profession, any job, then you're going to use I am, okay? Then, in, that's why the question is, what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? It says, I work at a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Okay. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Okay. Or if it is in high school, I go to uh, Midtown High School. Okay. Texas. This is when you're talking about you, 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 questions for you. Where do you live? Where do you work? Where do you study? Uh, where do you take the bus? 
Where do you go on the weekends? Okay, what do you do on weekends? See the difference? What do you do? General. And what do you what do you do on weekends? Right? What do you do on weekends? Uh, on weekends I sleep. On weekends I play soccer. On weekends I go to the beach. On weekends I visit my family. Or on weekends I study and watch watch movies and listen to music. Okay, but that is more specific question. What do you do on weekends? Okay, but in general, when the, when the people ask you, what do you do is your occupation. Okay, then the other one, where, the, where does Andrea work? This is a, about a person, in this case, it's a woman, Andrea. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guy, she takes people on tours. And how does she like it? She loves it. This is how does she like it? It's like, what is her opinion? What is her opinion about her job? Oh, she loves it. She doesn't like it. She hates it. Okay, or she likes it very much. Okay, so these are the different ones. And then here you can see work. I work, you work, she works, he works. Then you can see the inflection, okay, that affects the, that affects the, the, the verb with the letter S. Study, studies, I, E, S. Teach, teaches, E, S. Do, does, go, goes, have, has. Happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case, we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus a subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay. Now here you have some questions. Where do you work? I work at Burger King. What do you do there? I am a cooker. I am a cook. Where do you go to university? Okay. And then it says I go to the US. Where does Nicole work? She works for Apple Company. Okay. So here you can write some other questions about that, right? Now let's see the seven questions that we have here. And Pablo, can you please read the instructions here? It says instructions. Instructions. Complete this conversation using simple present and WH question words. Okay. So then you have to use simple present and WH question words. Okay, here. Number one, what? Then you have to choose between does and do. 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 They have what do. do. What do you do? Okay, I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. Okay, good. Manuel Alberto, number two. Where do you go to a school? Where do you go? go the, where do you go? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, to a school? Yes. Uh -huh. I go to? 
I go to the New York School of Music. Of Music, thank you. Uh, David Antonio, three. How do you like your class? How? Where? Where do you like your class? That's okay, which one? How or where? Mm, how? It's how opinion. do you? Yes, it's opinion. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Okay, Astrid, number four. What does Tania do? What does Tania do? Okay, here, here. Yes, what does Tania do? Third person and then do. She's a teacher. Thank you. Luis Alberto, five. Number five. Yes, sir. Um, what does she do exactly? What does she do? She do exactly. Uh huh. Letter B. She teach math. This one? Teach. Or teaches. Teaches, sí. She teaches. Third person, huh? She teaches. Teaches. She yes. teaches. Third person. It's maps. Okay. Hey, let's see, Jenny. Okay, Sara. Yes, Sara. Hello. Yes. Can you tell me the answer for number six. Six. Yes. Uh, what about rain? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company. He works. Very good. A lot of emphasis. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, good. Vilma, number seven. Um, Seria, where? Where does he do exactly? This one? Yes. Remember, where, where, is, where is for places? Uh, where I where does they do? Does what? Where? What? No, where? No, where? Um, where? What? What? Mm -hmm. mm. Is it? Yeah. What? It can, uh, what? Mm -hmm. What does he do exactly? What does, mm -hmm. what does he do exactly? He, do he creates websites. Okay, he creates. That's what he. Uh, let's say that's his uh, his job. That is his occupation. Okay, what does he do exactly? For example, you say, I am, a, I am a teacher, okay? Then you say, okay, what do you do exactly? Because teachers sometimes teach, but, uh, other, times, but other times they okay. are uh, supervisors, okay? So what oh, okay. do you do exactly? Then you say, I am a supervisor. I am a teacher. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, you. teacher. So then you use what? Thanks. Okay, what? Okay, now let's okay. see the answers to confirm that what is the correct answer, works, teaches. Remember that here in the affirmative sentence, we use she, she teaches math. Uh, he works for a big computer company. Okay, here it says, what does Tanya do? This is the question for a third person. And how do you like your classes? Okay. Where do you go to school? Okay. And what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. So these are all the possible answers. But you have to do your, your knowledge check. Okay. You see 25 of 25 points for each. Okay, now we're going to continue with the, with the simple present. But now we're going to use time, time expressions. What are some time expressions? Do you remember? 
expressions that tell you something about the time. Time expressions. Usually? That could be, a, that's a frequency adverb mm -hmm, that is about time. What else? Let's say like more specific time. Uh, time Often. Often. Usually. Ten. Uh -huh. what Always. Else? Okay. What else? Sometimes. Never. Okay. But what else do we have? Other time expressions apart Frequent. from the frequency? Every, every day. Ever. Every day. Okay. Hi, every day. Okay. What else? Ever. Uh -huh. On time. Which one? On time. On time. Okay. Today. Every weekends. Every weekend. Okay. Every weekend. Today. Today. Uh huh. There you go. There you go. Very good. Come on. Exercise your vocabulary. What else? This morning. Mm -hmm. This, this morning. week. This week. Okay, what else? In the morning, in the afternoon, this afternoon, you see there are many different combinations, right, that we can use about time expressions, right, depending on what we want to express or what we want to let people know. Okay, let's listen to this video. Probably there might be some of your ideas. Okay, that we can probably use, like usually, okay. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen me. I love you, though. By the way, I'm Daniel. Lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time express... I start work at five. <clears throat> okay. Questions about vocabulary? Easy to use. No. Okay. Well, if you don't have, it's good. Remember that, for example, look at here, they use uh, in the morning, usually in the afternoon, uh, late, at night. Pay attention when they use the prepositions, right? In the morning, no, sorry, in the afternoon, no, at the afternoon, right? They, they use here at night, uh, mid, at midnight, okay, which is at 12 or midnight, late, um, and there you see, and I love your bio, okay, those are the ones, okay. And let me get But two. Okay, here come the time expressions. Okay, pay attention to this. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. 
I get up at this lesson participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around ten in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven o'clock. Clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay. So now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. We have classes at 8 p.m. We have 7, 7, 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night months and years examples we have classes in the morning my graduation is in june i went to mexico in 1989 on this preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week a specific dates examples we will meet on friday i rest on weekends christmas is on december 25th okay any questions No. No, no, no. No, teacher. Okay. Now, let me see. Okay, we're going to work in groups because you're going to use all that vocabulary. Okay, you're going to be using that vocabulary. But uh, let me check. I think I will put it in the WhatsApp group so that you can remember the expressions you're going to use. Okay, let me see here. Okay, can you see it in your WhatsApp group? You got it? Yes. Yes, okay. Well, look, this is what you're going to do. Let me see, we have uh, around 22 people, more or less. I think we can have uh, seven groups. Okay, seven groups. And that means that you're gonna, there are gonna be three people, right? But it, what you're going to do is, first, you are going to create a daily routine schedule, yes? but like if you were only one person, okay? For example, I get up, you can ask the rest of the group. Okay, for example, suppose that uh, Luis Alberto, uh, let's see, um, let me see, let me see, let me see, uh, Astrid and, and Manuel. Okay, we are in the group, okay? And then we said, uh, okay, Astrid, what time do you get up?
Astrid? Okay. Oh, Manuel, what time do you get up? Uh, in the morning at 5 a.m. Okay, I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay, and you, Luis Alberto? I get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I get up. Okay. Up. In you, Astrid? No? Yeah. Okay. And then suppose I get up at 5 a.m. And then we say, okay, more or less, we, and then you write a sentence. Como que si fueran una sola persona, los tres. I get up at 5.30 a.m. Okay? The next question. What time do you have breakfast? Okay. Uh, I have breakfast at six o'clock, at seven o'clock. Okay, y encuentran un punto medio. Entonces, okay, se preguntan entre todos, practican los WH questions. Y al final pone, okay, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay, where do you go to work? Or where do you work? Uh, then one said, I work in Canchumalco, I work in Anacajutla, I work here. Entonces, cogen un lugar, right? I work at, uh, I don't know, at Texaco, San Miguel, right? And then you write there. Okay, so you're going to have a daily routine con seis oraciones, okay? Max, me, mínimo. Okay, y se hacen las preguntas de where, what, what do you do, what time do you get up, okay? Using those expressions. Van a practicar esas preguntas para crear el daily routine. You got it? Yes, well. Si tienen preguntas, voy a llegar ahí a los grupos y pues, empiezan a hacerse las. Y al final me van a venir a leer uno de los tres, va a leer acá en frente de la, al frente, ok, el uh, daily routine que lograron formar entre los tres, con mínimo seis oraciones, ok. I get up at this time, I go to, I go to work, I take a shower, I read, the tele, I read the newspaper in the evening, I watch the news at 7 a.m., ok. Cualquier cosa que se les ocurra. Use your creativity, okay? Now let's see, I'm gonna create the groups. You have, uh, we're gonna have like 12 minutes, more or less, 12 minutes, okay? So here we go. Six, seven, okay, there you go. What time do you get up? 
get, get up. Andre. Hola. What time do you get up? Do you get up? Yo así le puse. What time do you get up? Sí, correcto. Ahí podríamos decir, no sé quién se levanta más temprano, yo como a las seis. Eh, me too. Eh, I, get, I get up at eh, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Sumaro. I get, I get up 6 a.m. too. Ok. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Por consenso. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so then in the, in the sentence you write, I get up at 6 o'clock. Ok, very good. 6 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. 6 o'clock, okay. 6 a.m. No problem. Okay. Uh, what time do you go to work? Mm -hmm. I, I, got, I go I go my work at uh, 8 a.m. 8. 8 a.m. Okay. Andres? Hola. What time, what time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? To go to, go to uh, work. I go to work. What time to do work? To do go. Do you go to work? Did you go? Did you go to work? ¿A qué horas te vas a tu trabajo? What time do you go to work? Mm -hmm. What time? I go. I go to work. En la respuesta, Andrés, you say, I go to work. I, I go to work in seven. Uh, ¿Cómo podríamos decir siete y media? At 7.30. At Seven, Como seven. Hay half time, oh, half time. Half past seven. Half time. Half past seven. Half past okay. seven. Half past 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 seven. Half I go to work. O'clock. Yes. Oh, that is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. The second. Mm. Uh, take a shower. What time do you take a shower? Bien. Yes. O si querés para ir a, a trabajar para que pase un ratito más de tiempo. Oh, good. Okay. También. What time do you do you do you work? Do you go to work? Do you do you leave to work? Do you go? Do you go? Do you go to work? Do you go? Do you go to work? Do you go to work? What time do you go to work? Yes. I got I got to work at eight a.m. Perfect. Hey, I am back. Yes. I, I, I really go to work at night. Hey, I am. Do you work in the night? Algunas veces, así rara veces, ¿verdad? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I go to work in the night. I work in the night. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I usually go to work at 8 a.m., but sometimes I work, work? At, at night. Sometimes yes. at night, or sometimes, sometimes I have a, a night shift. Night shift. Night shift. Uh, ¿Cómo se? Ahorita. Night shift. Es un turno nocturno. Mm. Look in the chat. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Nine uh-huh. shift. Okay. So night shift. Uh, you can say sometimes I, I go to work at night or sometimes I have a night night shift. The okay. shift is for the night is for the night. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Continue. Nice. Okay. The caso. Mm-hmm. Okay, where, where where do you work? Okay. I work in Santa Ana. In Santa Ana. Mm. In lejos. And you, Alejandro? In La Libertad. Okay, you can say. Uh, uh, and what and what is the name of your company, Claudia? Um, it's Bautista School. Okay, and you, Alejandro? Oh. No, that's okay. Sí, Bautista School. Mm-hmm. In my case... Uh, ¿Cómo fue la pregunta que hizo, teacher? Where do you, uh, what what is, is the name of your... of your company? Because you, I thought you were in a company or something. Mm-hmm. But ah, okay. Say, where do you work? I work in, let's say, the Baptist school. Okay, Alejandro? The company name mm-hmm. is High Tech. Which one? High Tech. Okay. So you can say, for example, the, okay, I, you can use that company. Uh, I work at High Tech in San Salvador. And then it doesn't have to be true. No mucho saben, right? So about workplace. So I say, ocupen un lugar neutral. I say San Salvador. And you say, I work, en las oraciones que van a presentar, you say, I work at eh, high tech in San Salvador. Y ahí estamos usando dos, dos prepositions. I work at high tech in San Salvador. Ok. Y tenemos que leer la pregunta. No, solo las oraciones. Solo, la... solo las oraciones. ¿Pregunta y respuesta o solo las oraciones? Solo, solo las la respuestas. Solo las respuestas. Ajá. ¿Qué otros buscando? ejemplos eh, nos dijo? Okay. ¿Qué? ¿Mm? ¿Qué otros ejemplos? Bueno, aquí la mayoría de, 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 de oraciones las tenemos con tiempo. Hay que ir a 6. Ajá. 6 a.m. Ok. I have a breakfast at 8 a.m. Ok. I go to work at 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. I work in, and ahí lo pueden poner, I work in high tech, eh, at, eh, o sea, I work at high tech in San Salvador, or in Santa Tecla, okay, or in Santa Ana, Santa Tecla, yes, yes, yes. Ajá. después de decir que van a trabajar, ¿a dónde? Y de ahí pueden poner otra más, si quieren. Ok. Ok. All right, very, very good. Ajá, podemos preguntar uh-huh. eh, qué hacen el tiempo libre, ¿verdad? What También do you, yes, podríamos what do you do in, uh-huh. ¿Cómo es como una rutina? Yes. What do you do in your free time? In your free time, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh-huh. ya cuando pongan la respuesta, in my free time, ya no van a decir la pregunta. Así como lo que antes, después de decir que trabaja dónde, in my free, what do you do? In my free uh-huh. time, I go, I go to the park, okay. do exercise and read books. Ok. Yes. No problem. Okay. Thank you. No questions? No problem? So so. So so. Yeah. So so, Carla, tell me. <laughs> no, I don't know. I routine? only use. Cuál, I cuál? only use. So so. My my no routine. Okay. What would be the routine? Remember that the routine is like one person, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. How many sentences do you have? You don't have to read the question. Only the answers. Uh, more than six. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Maybe ten. Perfect. Excellent. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. 
Uh -huh. Entonces, si quieren, para que no se turnan para leerlas, que le, pónganse de acuerdo si quién lee las primeras tres, las otras tres y al final las otras tres. ¿Ok? okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Continue. Ya no le quito el tiempo. So, eh. No, a las seis, no, no sé si hay, pero creo que a las siete. De siete a ocho nos informamos y ahí nos quedamos en clase. Hey Manuel, thank ah. you. <laughs> Tell to the teacher. <laughs> the teacher, the teacher is waiting for your information. What is it? <laughs> What's information, Manuel, Manuel is ready. <laughs> yes, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> They are teasing you, Manuel. In Facebook. Aquí está Astrid, ya. Lista. Ya está okay. lista. How, how, many, how many sentences do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, I have a lot. 12. Then take turns. Pónganse turnos y lean tres o cuatro cada uno para participen todos. Ok, good. Now let's go back to the group then. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, a perla. Hay una calle que se llama La Perla. Yes. Uh, it, is, it is in. It is easy open. Al, al Central, Central Park de Plaza Mundo. Hay una entrada, hay una entrada de Plaza Mundo ahí en, en la calle La Perla. Yes. The wall, the, could, the name of the Perla. Mm -hmm. They cut the, the wall. They yes. Cut, cut the, the wall. Ok. They took down the wall. Botaron el muro. Yes, yes. 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 To make the street. And what? Oh, standing in teacher. Botaron el muro para hacer la calle. No, no, no. No. Is is called to be the walk. It is modifying, modifying, modifying the structure. The the the. the yes. Ah, uh, modify mm. the structure of the street. Yes. Ah, okay, good. Okay, you're finished? Yes, you're done with the, with the sentences? No, no, no finished. How many do you have? No, no, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six questions, no, no more. Okay, but no questions, right? Only the sentences. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very good, no problem. And we have... We're almost done. Sí, sí. Add, add, I get up. Okay. Uh, uh, I get up. I get up. I get up. Uh, 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 five. Uh, yeah. Seven. Seven. A five. A five. A five. Okay. Bye. What? Esa sería la primera, va. Sí. La segunda. What? Uh, breakfast. Eh, ¿Cómo sería? What time? How What time? Do you What time have? Do you have breakfast? Breakfast. Breakfast. But remember, What time? You, you don't have to read the sentences, right? The, the questions, only the sentences. For example, I get up at six o'clock. I have breakfast at seven. Ah, no necesitamos la question. No, the question, the question, las preguntas solo acá para que hagan el, la daily routine. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ya, ya, ya después solo van a decir la, la routine. Okay? Ok. Ajá, pero, pero sí, para más escribirla para que se nos va a olvidar. Oh, no, yes, yes. How many do you have? What time do you get up? ¿Cómo, cómo era, cómo era? ¿Cuántas tienes ya? Uh, what time uh, do you have breakfast? Uh -huh. I have breakfast at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. I have 
breakfast at seven o'clock. What time do you leave work? I leave work early. Bye. La otra es. What time do you leave work? For work. What time do you leave? Leave work. Aquí, con, ¿Y en español? Trabajo. ¿A qué hora llegas al trabajo? ¿Cuánto demora llegar al trabajo? Ok. Uh, what time do you get ah, okay. to work? Do you get to work? What time do you get to work? Get... ¿A qué hora llegas al trabajo? Get to work, es eh, verdad. Get to... mm -hmm. Maya, what time do you get to work? Yeah. I get work early. I get Teacher. Yes. Yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. You have not? No. Eh, y... eh, yo tampoco, teacher. Okay. Yo tampoco no estoy en el grupo. Sí, ya hubiera dicho antes. <risa> ya no sabía que hay, hay un correo donde sí. está el link. Ahorita los mando aquí. Pero. Creo que lo tengo por acá. Thank you. Ah, sí, ahí dice que hay un grupo. Ajá. Y ahorita lo mandamos. Okay, so here we have chat. Okay, click on this y automáticamente entra. Okay, ese es el, el link. Creo que le dan clic ahí de una sola vez. Lo lleva al grupo. Okay, good. Si tiene algún inconveniente, me avisan, right? Ok, good. Yo no. estoy desde mi computadora. Ajá. Por eso. Yo estoy, no estoy del teléfono. ¿Y no tiene WhatsApp en la compu? No. no ah, ok. Tengo. Pero lo puede copiar a un, a un Word ahorita, de ahí del chat. ¿Sí se puede? Puede abrir WhatsApp web y desde ahí le da. Ajá. Yo ya me uní, che. Ya está. Ajá. Aunque... Ya me, mire. Aunque por lo general, yo creo que con solo darle clic ahí la lleva de una vez al grupo con su teléfono. Creo que no hay necesidad de tenerlo en la compu, ¿no? Bueno, menos a mí si me lleva de una sola vez. Ya me aparece. 
pruebe dándole clic ahí y si no lo copia y lo pone en un eh, documento de Word y después de la clase lo puede hacer con el, con el WhatsApp web. Gracias, Sichu. Ok, no problem. Si tiene algún inconveniente, me dice. Please. Buscamos otra manera. Good. Ok, guys, now let's see the number one. Uh, who was the group number one? Andrés, David, and Osmaro. Read your sentences. Okay. Okay. David. Yes. Dale, está. Okay, David, read them. Okay. Uh, what time? What time do you get up? I get I get up at uh, six in the morning. Okay. Only the sentences, not the questions. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. What time do you get up? What time do you... No, only the, the answers, the answers, not the questions. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I get up at six in the morning. Uh, I take a shower at seven, seven o'clock. Uh, I have a meeting on Monday with my work team. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, five or six if you have five, five. if you have five it's okay mm. five or six okay I have a, I, I have a lunch uh, at uh, one uh, one p.m. Uh, one more. I go to home at six nine, five five p.m. I go back home at five p.m. Okay, thank you. Okay, now Eduardo, Stanley, and Steve. Stanley, oh, no, Steve. Steve, okay. Mr. Joe, Joe. Ah, well. famous man. I usually get up at seven o'clock. I go to work at eight a.m. I usually take my lunch at one p.m. I leave the work at uh, six. PM. I usually have my dinner at 8 p.m. and I normally study English at 8 p.m. and that's all. That's all. Very good. You see, se ve cómo va la la rutina, verdad? Cómo cómo se va describiendo. Yes. Okay, Alejandro and Claudia. Oh, okay, good job. I get up at 7 a.m. I have my breakfast at 8 in the morning. I go to the work at 9 a.m. I work in the Baptista school. In my free time, I read books. Yeah, I watch TV. I drink coffee in the afternoon and I go, I go to home at 7 p.m. And okay. finally, I go to bed at 11 p.m. Very good. Okay. I go back home at 5 p.m. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, Carla, Luis, and Minor. Okay. Um, uh, we talked about Minor and, he, and his routine. <laughs> okay. Uh, he... Get, get up at uh, 3 a.m. 4 a.m. At, uh, at 4 15 a.m. take a shower. Uh, at um, uh, 4 50 he 
place your house to go at work? To work? He usually takes a bus at time. Uh, every, every day he starts to work at 6 a.m. He takes the break at uh, 12 o'clock. And 3 p.m. Uh, he leaves your work. And he arrives at home at 5 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Astrid, Francisco, and Manuel. Okay, and I get up at 5 a.m. Later, I take a shower. I am always breakfast at 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, boy, boy. Uh, I usually go to my work at 7.30 p.m. a.m. I'm sorry. Uh, usually my, I started my work at 8 a.m. And in the, I usually in the, the paint today, uh, 9.30 video conference with my boss. Okay, good. I take my lunch at 12 and 30 p.m. Then I have a meeting of 30 at 3 p.m. o'clock every day. And then I go to my work, usually 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, Vilma, okay. okay. Juan, and Paulo. Four sentences because we don't have more time. Okay? Okay. Uh, I get up um, five in the morning. Uh, then I take a shower. Okay. Then I go to have the breakfast. All right. Before I go to work, uh, I read at work at seventeen in the morning. Okay. I work until five in the afternoon. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. And the last one? Thank you. Okay, we have uh, Manuel and Eliel. And I can see the other name. Okay, the last, the last one? I, I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I had breakfast at 7 o'clock. I leave work early. I finish work at 5 p.m. I have at May on Friday. Friday. Right. Thank you very much, people. Okay, if you study those sentences, you will see that you, I mean, we can improve. Tomorrow I will show you, le voy a enseñar cómo conectar eso y que se vea ya más como un párrafo. Guarden todas esas respuestas que mañana las vamos a usar al inicio de la, de la, de la clase. Para ya ir haciendo, then, after, le voy a enseñar unas palabritas para conectar y hacer un párrafo. Ok. So, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.